Throughout my entire academic career, I got consistently decent grades because I did the bare minimum of just turning in assignments when they were due. But of course, I'd occasionally slip up, you know, I'm human, everyone makes mistakes. And in those situations, I always did what every cornered animal does. I lashed out, I, I showed my teeth, and I threw the Hail Mary. So I'd always try and weasel my way out or buy extra time through a little white lie, coming up with an excuse. I'd always try the classics like, Hey professor, I'm sorry, my report's not ready today, I'm gonna need a little extra time. Last night, uh, I found my brother lying face down in a pool of his own vomit. As you know, he struggles with alcoholism and he was about to meet his maker, so I had to improvise a saline drip solution in order to save his life and things just got away from me and I just, I ran out of time. You know, I, I just try it because, why not? There's no reason not to at least try and come up with an excuse to get a little, a little extra time out of the assignment. But you know what there's never an excuse for? Drunk driving. Yeah, you bet your sweet bippy all of that was to say, I have no fucking respect for drunk drivers at all. I think it's inexcusable, I think it's unforgivable. Like, there's just never any justification for driving drunk. Especially not in today's world, where there's like Uber, Lyft, there's like a thousand ways of just getting a ride home. Like, Jesus Christ, you could probably find someone on Craigslist that's giving piggyback rides out for 10 bucks. Like, there's just always a better way that doesn't involve driving drunk. And the reason I'm talking about that today is because a TikTok star named Amanda Caravalla just lost her whole influencer career because a very embarrassing video has now hit the internet of her DUI that she received last year. It's fucking rough. I just saw a lot of people talking about it. I don't know the TikTok star, but it's apparently a pretty goofy video. So I wanted to at least see a little bit about it. It's nothing crazy. Okay, I'm still gonna give it a chance. This intro is going so hard for no reason. Makes me feel like I'm watching Miami Vice. <laughs> what seems to be the problem, officer? <laughs> How long are we just gonna stay? I mean, I think we can safely assume she's sleeping here. Maybe knock on the window. Are we timing her? Yeah, it looks like everything's okay here. Oh my god, wait, there's more police officers- Oh, you can't see it. Just behind my webcam. There's more police officers right here. Man, this whole block was popping off here. Damn. Everyone's catching the- catching the heat out here. I think we can establish that this is no condition to be driving in. She's missed a full cycle already. They might run if he wakes her up. That's a really good point that I didn't think about. That was actually a good point. So what's the proper protocol here? Slash her tires so she can't? Like... We're gonna have to wake her up eventually. We can't just let her sleep here all night. Oh. I see, so that was the play. Whoa. Wake up! Put it in park! Put the car in park! Put Damn. the car in park! She's like a zombie. Police department, put the car in park! Put the car in park. <laughs> Holy shit. Wake up! What is happening in there? This reminds me of the scene from the Resident Evil movie where there's that guy who says, Don't open the door. Wake up! Right before he gets like his head blown off. Come park over here. Yeah, Amanda's having a real tough time here, staying in this corporeal realm. Every time she starts dozing off, her jaw just falls to the floor like a Dementor about to suck out some happiness. It is, it is like actually kind of disturbing to look at. I've been super drunk, like turbo intoxicated, and I can't recall any videos of me ever looking like that. Like that is a different level where like your jaw muscles stop responding to you, so... This could be more than just alcohol. Of course, I'm not there testing her blood or going over toxicology reports. I'm just speculating as a pea brain fucking idiot observer over here. It just looks really weird that her jaw is doing its absolute best to escape her face. She starts looking like the monster from the amnesia game. Man, this is rough. Holy shit, how long, how long do we stay in this standoff? Would you mind opening the door for me? Break the window? Hey. I'm surprised they haven't. Oh, hey, there we go. Excellent. There we go. Hi. 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 Police department. Hey, what's going on? Take your belt off. How fast was I going? Show where you're at. They're both, yeah, checking out the seats. I think you guys are like, Dude, shit, you know what I'm saying? 
What? Relax, relax for a second. What uh, happened? Do you know where you're at? Yeah. Where? Um, at the decision. At the dis at the what? I'm still living. At the what? At the decision that. Go step over here. <laughs> hey, we're gonna go over here. Go over here. <laughs> at the Good. what? What did you the Abin Simmon? Holy shit! Damn, she is fucked up. A bunch of cat cars. Yeah. Nice, astute observation. All right, come over here. Hello. Maybe she's sober. What's your name? Amanda. Amanda, what's going on tonight? He's talking to her like a dog. <laughs> cat car. Yeah. Yeah, that you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Me? Yes. yes. How much have you had to drink tonight? <laughs> um. <laughs> How much have you had to drink tonight? Nothing. Be honest. What time is it? Three o'clock. Okay, three o'clock. Yeah, how much have you had to drink? Three o'clock. I've had three o'clock to drink tonight. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, so my night. next question to you. <laughs> All right, man, Can't think, argue with that, to be question? fair. That was a pretty Do good checkmate. Is medically wrong with you? Are you diabetic? No. How am I supposed to track your finger with just my eyes on my... My kids' cars are moving. Over here. <laughs> okay. All right. So kids' cars. Okay. Do you yeah. want to face this way? Yeah, what okay. is she seeing? My kids' cars. This is like in Looney Tunes, where when someone gets hit with a mallet over their head, they're seeing like stars and little Tweety Birds flying around in circles. This is what the fuck. Yeah. This is like beyond faded. No, I'm sorry for the mistake, ma'am. Uh, please continue on your way. Seems we were wrong. Oh boy, no shit. now we've reached that stage of being drunk where it's just yeah, loud and angry. Oh, well, she either got banned or doesn't have an account on here anymore. Now, Amanda Caravalla wasn't like a super duper TikTok star, but she had almost 2 billion views on the platform before, I'm assuming, being removed from it. Or maybe she got laughed off the platform once this video was released. I'm really not sure on the timeline there. But if you want a little more information on the case, this video is actually from 2021. And she pled guilty and was sentenced to 12 months probation and 6 days of community service. And then paid about $2,000 in fines. So... Overall, she got off pretty easy. Even though she wasn't involved in an accident or there are no victims, at least not that we know of, I still think that this is light sentencing, but of course it could be my own bias because of how much I despise the act of drunk driving. It's needlessly dangerous and endangers not only the driver's life, but anyone in their car and anyone in any car around them. It's fucking ridiculous. So she got off super easy. Like, I mean, goddamn. When they asked her how much she had to drink, her reply was 3 o'clock. She's had 3 o'clock to drink. Do you know how much that is? If you convert that into fluid ounces, that's like 5,000 beers. Like, that is an incredible amount of alcohol she's consumed. Like, her, her BAC must have been like a 10.0. Oh yeah, I also didn't show it in the video here, but I'll just explain it to you. Towards the end of her arrest, she kept asking for someone named Mike Davis to show up to the scene as if she was like trying to summon Batman. Like, she repeatedly asks for some vigilante named Mike Davis, who apparently works for that police department. And I, it, that got a big giggle out of me, because I love to imagine, like, Mike Davis hears his name being called somewhere, and he hops in his car and his cruiser, turns on the siren, scoots in sideways, and gets out like an action movie hero and says, Alright boys, I've got it from here. You're safe now, Amanda. Like, I just have to imagine, like, she must have known of someone loosely in the police department and just tried her best to, like, get her, get out of this by dropping his name to no avail. Still getting arrested. And then she makes a huge hoopla in the car on the way there. But yeah, I just wanted to show this because I think this is a, an instructive moment on how your entire online career can be undone with one horrible decision. And not only that, a decision like drunk driving could just straight up end your life. One bad decision like that could just straight up fucking kill you. That's not an exaggeration. That shit happens all the time. Fuck drunk driving. Don't do it. A little PSA. That's about it. See ya.